Ahead of the final results in a closely fought election, conservative candidate Keiko Fujimori is facing another challenge. Prosecutor Jose Domingo Perez has asked a judge to send her back to prison for violating the terms of her parole. Fujimori says the move is politically motivated. Lo extraño de todo esto es Why was this request made today? Yesterday, we asked to annul some ballots because of irregularities that citizens had brought to our attention. It looks like our request made them uncomfortable. Fujimori could be jailed for the fourth time on corruption charges. She faces 30 years in prison, but if she wins the presidency, the case would be put on hold till she completes her term in office. That seems unlikely, as her rival candidate Pedro Castillo is leading by nearly 70,000 votes. To tip the scales, Fujimori is challenging the validity of more than 200,000 ballots alleging fraud. It's not about my candidacy, but about respecting the vote of millions of Peruvians who want their vote to be respected and for this process to be transparent and clean. Electoral officials and international monitors say the election has been transparent. The Free Peru Party that Castillo represents say the voting has finished and they want electoral officials to call the fraud allegations inadmissible. Supporters of both candidates are anxiously waiting for officials at the national electoral jury to call the election. Yo la llamo. I call on Mrs. Kaiko Fujimori to reflect on things and stop polarizing the people. We are in difficult times because of the pandemic. One has to learn to lose with dignity and humility. As electoral officials were processing the last votes, supporters of Castillo were already celebrating. The only party made up of provincial people, the deepest roots of Peru. Pedro Castillo, president, will change Peru's history. Analysts say it will be a few days before officials can scrutinize all the disputed votes, but many Peruvians already say their candidate has won. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.